What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo, and I just wanted to do a brief video for you all, kind of detailing the team that I'm going to be using in my next series of videos for the February International Challenge League. Uh, I had a lot of fun using the team that I ended up coming up with this, and special shoutouts to Guy for giving me the spread for the star of this team, Mega Audino. Now this particular Mega Audino has very, very specific EVs. Uh, not only is it able to live really powerful hits, um, such as a flash cannon from uh, like a Mega Lucario or from um, even a Magneton, but can also do other things like three hit KO Garchomp. Um, you see that I'm running a bold nature, even though I'm running a sizable special attack investment. That's just to help take hits. Uh, we still have max HP. And the moves that I'm running, the nice thing about Mega Audino, uh, Guy and I both agree about this, is just how versatile it is. I decided on this particular run to run Draining Kiss, Calm Mind, Heal Pulse, and Helping Hand. Um, of course, when it Mega Evolves, it has the ability Healer, so it can cure status ailments for its teammates. But Helping Hand and Heal Pulse allow to support, while Draining Kiss and Calm Mind allow to keep itself alive to an extent, and also uh, provide some nice fairy coverage. Now, I did run into the issue where Draining Kiss is just really too weak, and I actually ended up breeding two Perfect Audino, so I have a secondary one that uses Dazzling Gleam. Uh, but there is certainly a case to be made for other moves. Uh, I think when Guy used it in the Generation Showdown, he used Gravity on his. Uh, Audino also gets access to Yawn and Encore, um, and just a lot of other support moves. You don't have to use Draining Kiss, of course, you use Dazzling Gleam, or Hyper Voice, if you prefer. Uh, but this was really the star of the team. It's incredibly hard to take down without hacks or added effects. Um, most of the time, Audino was taken out by critical hits or um, poison from uh, Poison Jab and things like that. So I decided to go ahead and use my tried and true weakness policy, Aegislash. Uh, wide Guard is just really, really good support. And alternating between Wide Guard and King Shield. Uh, while they don't run off of the same counter, of course, you can wide guard as much as you want. Uh, it does keep the opponent guessing, and if I think that they're going to target down Aegislash, then it's just best to go to, for the King's Shield. But if I haven't revealed the wide guard, I like to just pull that out when I can. Shadow Ball and Flash Cannon give me really, really nice coverage overall. Uh, I do have a lot of steel coverage on this team between uh, Escavalier and Aegislash. But I, at the end of the day, I was kind of just trying to choose Pokemon that paired well with Audino that would appreciate Heal Pulse. Of course, you can King Shield and get hit by a Heal Pulse at the same time. Whereas if you protect, you cannot get hit by Heal Pulse. So I really like Aegislash alongside Audino. Um, whereas uh, Audino can take heat, uh, heat Pulses and Earthquakes relatively easily. And um, if people are focusing on Audino, that allows Aegislash to kind of do a lot of good damage. Now, I also chose a bulky melodic using competitive as the ability instead of marble scale. For those of you who aren't aware, of course, competitive, if you receive a stat drop, then your special attack will sharply rise. So if the opponent sings out a Landorus Therian form, it gets hit by Intimidate, then melodic will get a plus two to its special attack. That is very important in VGC or International Challenge League type scenarios, just because of how often you see Pokemon use Intimidate. Um, I feel like a lot of people forget that Melodic gets competitive as an ability, and uh, it's very easy to take advantage of it. The times that I take advantage of it, um, especially with Icy Wind, to hit the uh, Landorus Therian forms back, or hit the um, the Salamences back that have Intimidate, with Scald and Icy Wind, I'm able to hit them back really hard. And with max HP and max defense, there typically isn't anything they can do to one-hit KO Melodic back in return. Uh, I also decided to put Toxic on this set just because since Suicune is now um, legal to use in these formats, Melodic versus Suicune, uh, I can not only switch it in on Suicune using Snarl and get that plus two boost, but if I use Toxic and Recover, I will be able to outstall the Suicune uh, most of the time. Um, so, Melodic is a Pokemon that I've wanted to use in doubles format for a while, and I was actually pretty pleased with how it performed overall, just because how bulky it is and it has a cool design. Now, Breloom, I actually ended up using my Jolly one, um, just kind of the speed creep there, 
on Breloom is it's important to keep up with other Breloom. Most Breloom run adamant, so running Jolly. Well, I do get uh, I missed out on a couple of KOs, I think, um, but I'm able to not only make up for those by using Helping Hand with my Audino, but also I have a Focus Sash, so it gives me a secondary lease on life. Uh, and I did use Rock Tomb on this particular Breloom just so I can hit Talonflame that basically 9 out of 10 times when Talonflame is against Breloom, they Bray Bird you immediately, I survive with my Focus Sash, and then I kill him with a Rock Tomb. So it really just comes down to making sure that I don't miss the Rock Tomb. Uh, and that way I'm not trying to play around with putting them to sleep or anything like that. I can just KO them outright and go on about my business, hopefully. Uh, I am running, of course, Technician and Mock Punch and not the Poison Heal, just to make sure I get a little bit of that extra damage. Now, I decided to run a Skyvalier. Um, I really prefer running a Skyvalier in a Trick Room type doubles team, but a Skyvalier, just like Aegis Slash, pairs really nicely with Audino. Uh, there aren't many moves, bar fire type moves, that knock out a Skyvalier in one hit, and so having it with Heal Pulse or Helping Hand Support when he already has that gargantuan attack stat, just makes him a really, really easy Pokemon to pick. Uh, I didn't really build this team specifically around Mega Audino. I more bred the Audino and then used previous Pokemon that I used in doubles alongside it. So I was seeing what kind of paired with it, what would appreciate the support, and Escavalier was an easy choice there, uh, especially because of the overcoat ability that allows me to dodge Spore-type moves and also be immune uh, to Hail when you're facing against uh, Mega Obama Snow or regular Obama Snow. Um, I have nice stab type bug moves, which are really, really nice against the likes of Cresselia, which has seen a huge resurgence in popularity. Uh, and knockoff is also generally useful when I know that my opponent isn't holding a Mega Stone. So I can also bolster the power of any of those moves with Helping Hand and Quick Guard if I see priority on my opponent's side of the field. Uh, pairing Escavalier with one of these other more offensively oriented Pokemon like Braylon or Talonflame, I'm able to block those moves pretty nicely. And then finally, Talonflame was a Pokemon that I chose to go alongside Audino, just because I don't run a roost on this Talonflame, so it wears itself down relatively quickly, but when people expect you to KO yourself and you get back the HP with a heal pulse from Audino, and then you hit them again, uh, I was able to do that a couple of times during the February uh, ICL and it's pretty fun to do. Um, I actually run max speed but adamant uh, with sharp beak because again you're using Brave Bird most of the time but I didn't want the limitations of a choice band. Being able to U-turn out especially against things like Gothitelle or burn things like um, Mawile and Tyranitar and Garchomp just a lot of utility there without having to use Rotom Wash I really don't like Rotom Wash. Um, if I'm going to use a Rotom, I'm definitely using Leaf Form. That's a little bit harder to use in doubles. So that is the team. I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing some battle videos with these guys because this team was a lot of fun to use. And I have yet to see anyone else really use Mega Audino. So definitely something to look forward to. Hope you guys look forward to the upcoming videos this week and have a great week. Bye, guys.